My name is Cathy Payne. I'm a palliative care educator at Our Ladies Hospice and Care Services. And my background is as a clinical dietitian, but I've been working as a lecturer for the allied health profession since about 2007, um, initially with Northern Ireland Hospice and the University of Ulster. And what I'm wanting to talk to you about this morning is my trip to the Calvary Matter Newcastle, um, looking at fact-based learning. So the challenge was, how can fact-based training be tailored to meet the needs of individual learners? How can fact-based learning be made fun and engaging? And how can fact retention be improved? And this really follows on very nicely from Kevin's presentation. So the, um, what I'm going to speak about this morning is one online solution to fact-based learning, which is QStream. QStream is a real-time learning analytics platform developed at Harvard Medical, Medical School by Professor Kerfoot. In essence, QStream provides a radically simplified online learning experience for course participants. It uses an interactive space delivery question and answer method to present information in very small amounts, typically two to three questions every one to two days to a learner's desktop browser or a mobile device such as a smartphone or a tablet. So a person's first introduction to a course is through a question rather than through content. To improve knowledge retention, questions typically repeat several times. The sequence of questions adapts based on the learner's answers. So if you get a question wrong, it repeats sooner. Get it right one or more times in a row and it's retired from a course. The course is only completed once all of the course questions have been repeatedly answered correctly. With QStream, information is more effectively processed and stored, increasing average knowledge retention from a purported three months to two years. Between um, the 16th and the 26th of June this year, I visited Australia to meet Dr. Er Erica Cameron Taylor and colleagues based in New South Wales. Dr. Cameron Taylor is a palliative care consultant at the Mercy Hospice and a lecturer at the Department of, the, of Palliative Medicine in the University of Newcastle. Her main research interests are in medical education, integrated palliative care teaching across professions and community engagement. She's particularly interested in the potential of online learning to support the development of competence in palliative care for all of those who support patients with palliative care needs, regardless of the setting in which they do it. As healthcare training curricula become more intense and opportunities for traditional face-to-face -face and bedside teaching become limited, the need for mobile learning solutions that reinforce critical practices become a priority. To address, to address its growing medical student population, Australia's Mercy Hospice, based at Calvary Matter Newcastle, selected QStream to help reinforce palliative care education for the fifth year medical students attending the University of Newcastle. Completion of the QStream course is required prior to attending the one week palliative care placement and as part of the student assessment for the year. So the students are hitting the ground running. They already have facts about palliative care before they come um, to their one week placement. Following on from the success and the use of QStream for the medical student training, Dr. Cameron Taylor was keen for multidisciplinary collaboration to develop palliative care QStream courses for healthcare professionals across different services and settings, and this prompted this education visit. The Calvary Matter Newcastle sits within the Hunter New England Local Health District, which is pictured here which covers a region of over 130,000 square kilometres. So to put that in context, the whole of the island of Ireland is, only, uh, is under 85,000 square kilometres. So we'd sit very nicely in there. It encompasses the major metropolitan centre of Newcastle and, the reg and regional communities, with a small percentage of people located in remote communities. The health district has a total of 38 public hospitals, include including two tertiary referral hospitals 
the John Hunter Hospital and the Calvary Matter Newcastle, and they're both located in Newcastle at the bottom of this picture. The Calvary Matter Newcastle Department of Palliative Care conducts research and education into all aspects of caring for life-limited patients. Research includes clinical trials of new therapies for symptom management, surveys into the perspectives held by patients, carers and healthcare professionals, and translational research to implement evidence-based findings. The Mercy Hospice is located at the Calvary Matter Newcastle and is the only unit of its kind in the Hunter Valley region, which is in that green circle. The hospice offers a 17-bed facility, day hospice, consultancy, outreach, outreach um, services, the majority of palliative care is, however, provided by GPs, nurses and other health professionals in hospital wards or nursing homes or in the community who have very little support or training in palliative care. This picture shows some of the multidisciplinary team based in Mercy Hospice who I met during my visit, and this includes physio, OT, nursing, medics, uh, complementary therapy. My slides have disappeared. How did yeah, that happen? <laughs> That's not good. Okay. It's all right. <laughs> that was just to throw me, wasn't it? Okay. Just to give you a little flavour of Keystream, they must have jumped around. Just to give you a little flavour of Keystream. As I mentioned, Keystream is an externally hosted learning system. And a dashboard for a student using the Calvary Matter Qstream typically looks like this. So students are able to browse the programme list and enrol in programmes of relevance to them. They may or may not need an enrolment key, dependent on how the course has been set up by the trainer. You can see that the first course under the banner, Popular Q-Streams, is the one run for medical students. The other courses relate to end of life training for various different professional groups and they're still in development and testing, which is why the participant numbers are so small. Qstream provides trainers with various controls over the parameters for each course. This includes how many questions learners can answer at a time and how often a question must be answered correctly before it is retired from the course. And there's a science behind this in terms of spaced learning that you don't want people to answer questions too quickly. You want them to have a gap for reflection between questions and time um, in, in terms of repeating the question that's long enough to say for to develop those links to store the knowledge. This screenshot, and it's the right one, sh shows uh, a question from a course that I was developing during my time in Australia. So once a learner enrolls in a course, this is the typical type of question that will arrive to them as an email or in a format that can be viewed easily on a tablet or a phone. Learners can answer the question there and then and receive immediate feedback. So they choose their options and click submit. This will tell them immediately what the right answer is and more importantly, why. There's also an option to post a comment if the learner is confused by the, qu the question or the answer or feels that there's an issue with it. Questions, answers, feedback can contain multiple media, such as text, images, videos, links to other websites. So with the question, hopefully you're prompting a, huh, didn't know that, and encouraging the learner to then go and look for more information. Uh, so the whole way that this system is worked is to spark an interest rather than just delivering content. If someone knows it, it's great, I knew it. So again, it's, it's confirming knowledge. As well um, as learning immediately if you're right or wrong in terms of answering the question, Qstream also allows learners to assess their progress against their peers, which can be a strong motivator to improve. So it will tell you how many other people answered the same way you did and whether you were all right or you were wrong, and where you sit. So you can have a leaderboard as part of this so that you encourage people to be a little more competitive. So there's a gaming edge to this as well. 
As I previously mentioned, Qstream is a learning analytics program, and I even had to Google what that was. So a learning, anal learning analytics is the measurement, collection, analysis, and reporting of data about learners and their context for the purposes of understanding and optimizing learning and the environment in which it occurs. The Qstream dashboard allows the trainer to see how the learners are interacting with the course content. <coughs> Who might be struggling? Which concepts perhaps need further explanation in, in follow-up training? And you can automatically generate as a trainer a report which allows you to see how knowledge is improving over time with the cohort. So in this slide you can see how um, most people were very good at communication at the start but recognising dying was, was less well known and improving as, as people repeatedly answered the questions. It also shows you how many people have started the course, how many people have completed the course and how many people are, are still undertaking the course. So you can see how, how well people are interacting with the course. Ideally, a good question on Qstream shouldn't be automatically easy to answer for everybody at the start of the course. So you want questions that do um, encourage learning, um, but you want to make sure that the answers are very, you know, that there's no tricky answers, that it's, you know, that it's something that, you know, if, if um, there, sh there shouldn't be a lot of debate, it should be quite black and white, the answer. So the outcomes of my visit were that I met with the multidisciplinary team at, the, at Mercy Hospice and we had an opportunity to share um, knowledge, skills and experience and to compare local initiatives to improve palliative care and palliative care education within our own services. So that was lovely to have that time with them. I experienced the use of Qstream as a learner and a content developer. An agreement was made to work together to develop further question and answer based content for future courses that would have applicability to the wider multidisciplinary team in both jurisdictions. There are however two major drawbacks with Q the use of Qstream. One is the recurrent cost, legacy and transferability of content hosted by a commercial company. Used mainly for sales training, Qstream courses are usually costed per participant per course and materials only remain available to trainers through an annual subscription to the Qstream site. This has implications when we're trying to develop and share materials globally. The second issue is pedagogical. Qstream courses have been criticised for their ability for learners to rote learn the answer to a question without necessarily being able to apply that knowledge further. So as a student, I may learn that the correct answer to question two is A, C and D. And maybe A, C and D move the next time the question is delivered to me, but I still remember the answer without necessarily understanding why that answer is correct. So it's important for us that when we're teaching people facts, that they can apply them rather than simply learning the answers to repeated questions. The All Ireland Institute of Hospice and Palliative Care is committed to supporting access to high quality education and to the development of well -trained, a well trained palliative care community with the skills and abilities to respond to a wide variety of palliative care needs in a range of settings. Fact-based learning is, is a necessary component of that vision and to that end the Institute are currently scoping opportunities to develop question and answer based courses which increase knowledge retention and which can be delivered in a way which allows our community to freely share this information and also to develop course materials across providers. On behalf of Our Ladies Hospice and Care Services, I would like to sincerely thank the All-Ireland Institute for the bursary and to the Calvary Matter team, uh, Dr Erica Cameron Taylor's team um, for hosting me and actually her research nurse put me up for the time that I was there, which was fabulous. 
Um, and as a consequence of going on the visit, I also adopted a golden doodle because I met one out there. It's a cross between a golden retriever and a poodle. Um, <laughs> fabulous dog. So the things that you do on bursaries. <laughs> Thank you very much.